Hi there and welcome to Microbytes Coding. My name is Jonathan from the Ashburton Public Library. Um, today we are going to be starting a new project. Um, we're using MakeCode uh, Microbit. So Microbit MakeCode. Um, and we are going to be looking at our Micro McQueen uh, from DF Robot. And yeah, so let's get started. Uh, we're going to go and create a new project um, and we're going to call it McQueen1. The first thing you're going to need to do uh, with uh, setting up a basic program for your McQueen robot is you are going to need to find the extension for McQueen. So if you go into extensions and search for McQueen It should give you two options. There you've got the McQueen standard robot or the McQueen Plus model there. Uh, I only have the McQueen basic one at the moment, so we'll choose that one. And when it loads up, uh, you'll have it here in your drawers. So there's the McQueen draw here, um, plus a couple of extra bits and pieces as well. So you've got the McQueen infrared information over here as well. Um, so what I'm going to get you to do is the first thing is we'll just get rid of the forever block. We don't need that. Uh, and we are going to create a simple program um, to make McQueen uh, move around in a square pattern um, on the floor. So I want you to first of all, um, we need a loop block. Because to do a square, we need to repeat a symbol pattern four times. So move forward, turn right, and then we'll do that four times. And that is pretty basic. Uh, inside your McQueen drawer there, I want you to grab the motor block. Okay, and pop him in there. Now we want to move both wheels because if I only move the left wheel it will turn right and if I move the right wheel it will turn left um, but I want to move all wheels so they move for so it moves forward and I'm going to set the speed to 100 the reason why I'm doing this is because we want to create something that we can measure and then we can change it up so if we want it to do a specific pattern on the floor uh, like follow a maze, uh, if we can measure how far it moves at speed 100 then we can um, change it later on to, to fit the length of our maze. So once we've got that, uh, the next thing I need to do is tell it how long it needs to do this for. Now it's a bit of a, a funny thing here, but you're actually going to find a pause block. So here it is, so it's inside the basic drawer. Uh, and you'll grab the pause block and we're going to pause it now 100 milliseconds is not very long so you want to actually make it run for about two seconds give it two seconds we can see how long that goes for once we once we've set it all up um, right next so now we've got it to move forward at this speed for two seconds um, now we want to make it turn right, so we'll grab another block, another motor block, sorry, there. And this time we to turn right, so it's a bit funny. So you want to move the left wheel forward, and the left wheel forward will make it do a right hand arc. And if I use the right wheel forward, it will do a right hand arc. Now, if I wanted to spin on the spot, I need to move the left wheel forward and the right wheel backward. Um, so I'll grab another one. And make the right wheel go backwards. Backwards, change that to backwards. And move this, change this to speed 100. And that just help 
helps minimize any variables and we need to tell it how long. Now this is really um, just a bit of trial and error really to get this right. Um, there's no real true uh, way of figuring out um, how long to make motors turn for to to figure out how long it takes to turn 90 degrees. Um, so really it is a trial and error and not every, unfortunately not every motor is identical so it, um, you might just have to tinker with this a little bit to get it right. Um, I managed to do this a little earlier so I'll grab that one out and what I found for me is I needed it to be 450 milliseconds whoopsie, try again 450 milliseconds seem to be for me about right to do a 90 degree turn so to make it go in a square it needed to do a 90 degree turn so as we read down through the code we're saying when you start up I want you to repeat the following code four times I want you to turn all the motors on and go forward or clockwise um, at the speed of 100 for two uh, two seconds or 2,000 milliseconds. So two seconds, I want you to do the above code. Now I want you to turn the left motor forward at 100 and the right motor backwards at 100. This is going to make the uh, robot turn on the spot, so turn clockwise. And I want you to do that for 450 milliseconds, which hopefully should be approximately 90 degrees. And then obviously doing it four times should make him go forwards, turn, oops, forwards, turn, forwards, turn, forwards, turn, and back to the start facing in the correct direction. All right, when you have finished with your code, um, don't forget to pair your device. You're going to click on the little three dots and click on pair device and follow the instructions there before you hit download and then that way it will download directly to the device other than downloading it to your computer and then having to drag and drop it back to the device so it's, it's a bit long winded that way so pairing the device first makes it pairing your robot rather first makes it a lot simpler cool have a go and see how you go when you've once you've seen how it works, it may take a little bit of trial and error just to fiddle with the um, amounts of time. I, I wouldn't change the speed at this stage, um, just so if you can play with the amounts of time, then you can, once you've got a set length that you need to travel forwards, um, then you know, once you know that, then you can use that information um, to help your robot navigate a maze and the same for the turning so good luck and we'll see you in the next video cheers bye